10 seconds for all out standing sprint. Five, four, three increase cadence and all out. Doing a VO2 max test, probably one of the most horrible tests there are in uh, cycling. <laughs> I, I agree, I agree. <laughs> okay, we have started the test. Now on 128 mats, we're going up. Let's see how much we get. Wow, that's an amazing athlete, amazing. 10 seconds for all out standing sprint. Five, four, three increase cadence and all out. All out, go, 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 faster. All out, all out, yeah. Amazing, faster. All out, three. All out, five, four, three, push, 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 and six. That's it. Amazing. 20 seconds, feels? 20 seconds, feels like a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Great yeah. job. So that was uh, that was nasty. Definitely creeps up on you as you're as you're getting into it. It feels easy, and then all of a sudden you just like, this is this is getting hard. But uh, I think last time I did one of these was probably 2016, 2015, maybe I can't remember. At the GSK lab over in uh, over in the UK. Uh, so it'll be interesting to, to compare some of these results with some of those and just see see where everything's at. So uh, going further with the analyzation of the test, uh, we can see that uh, looking on the oxygen equivalent, carbon dioxide equivalent here, all of those graphs represent physiological factors and especially the efficiency of using oxygen and throughout the training uh, testing, we need to rely more and more on anaerobic pathways to restore energy in the muscles. And it took you a long while to really reach to the anaerobic threshold today. Uh, we can see that you really pushed and pushed and pushed and only um, within 40, uh, 408 to 415 vats you really uh, went to uh, what we call the anaerobic threshold that we can also um, analyze through lactate measurements. Um, and uh, after testing you yesterday to the anaerobic power, which was very high, but we also measured your lactate accumulation curve in the minutes after, we could see that um, in, your pres in your condition now, and also with your genetics and training, you tend to be more of an uh, aerobic uh, um, um, uh, athlete yeah. and you tend to be with a very high FTP um, uh, and obviously with training you push it higher and with low ability to burn yourself, let's say, okay. with anaerobic uh, bursts. So the, the let's say, the gap between your anaerobic power and your maximal effort is not huge. It's very close. We can see it 
throughout the test, um, and we can see that all of this zone is mostly aerobic, yeah. and the anaerobic zone is, is smaller. With athletes that are more sp um, um, explosive sprinters, their FTP is very low because their anaerobic mechanisms are suppressing the aerobic mechanisms down. Okay. And you don't want to be in this... Uh, in that bracket, the, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You started to uh, work on your breathing and you started uh, swelling a little, like... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this position is very hard for us. We call it the respiratory compensation point. And it took you a long while to reach it. It was only after uh, we reached the 485 vats uh, number. Obviously, it's dependent on training. Yeah. And you are now off season. Yeah. Uh, so everything should go up. Even you, more. Yeah. yeah of okay. course. Uh, most of us and most of the athletes, when we reach this point, we basically can push for seconds, uh, maybe a minute to the protocol, but you could push forward and you reach a very high number. Good. So I can suffer? <laughs> yeah, you, you do. You don't need, to, need me to, to, to say it. <laughs> it's amazing to test uh, an athlete in your caliber. And uh, we really get to a maximal effort. Okay. Uh, we could see that the oxygen levels towards the final stages when the power goes up, really plateauing here. And you reach a very high number uh, more than 5,000 uh, milliliters, milliliters of oxygen in, in, in those uh, uh, seconds. Okay. Um, with your weight now, which is very low, 72.1, amazing. We can that's look, the VO2 max, 72.1. Yeah, that's 1. the VO2 max, uh, okay. two, one kilogram per minute. So um, if I was two kilos, two, two and a half kilos lighter, which is my, my race weight, yeah, with how, race how much weight, would that go up? Um, it would go up with, uh, we can calculate it now, okay. one second, very easily. So it's the same number of absolute uh, milliliters, milliliters of oxygen just divided by, divided a, by, by a different uh, weight, which is lower, it would be 75. Okay. Even more than that, a little okay. bit. Uh, so it, our weight, um, or an athlete weight, at least a cyclist, uh, has a huge uh, impact on his VO2 max to kilogram uh, when the uh, absolute number uh, of oxygen that we really can uh, burn uh, is not really changing in that uh, aspect when we are not losing a, a lot of weight or gaining a lot of weight of the muscles that are working. Okay, so that, that number doesn't really change much. That's uh, a with num training it does. Oh, oh with, and, with condition. Yeah, with got conditioning you. it does. Okay, but, but not, not, not lose, so much the weight Yeah, you can aspect. lose three kilograms within a month and this number won't be affected. Yes, and but it's your, your, ability, to, your, your exactly. ability to uptake oxygen basically yeah. that you need to try and work on. Okay. Mm -hmm.